I got my camp spot stolen last night, 2 a.m. in the morning, while I was there. And they acted like I didn't even exist. Like, say, like, ex yeah, but it's just common courtesy to say sorry. My name is Victoria Rose. Welcome. I go on seemingly benign adventures in my little camper, all alone. Maybe someday I won't be alone, but I just want to travel the unpaved road, you know? Break out of the system. And maybe along the way you can be inspired by something. So, come with me. Let's do 24 hours in my life living in my converted Jeep, okay? We'll do that. Uh, I was gonna do like a day of my life, maybe that's what it'll be too, but I'm starting a little bit late. This is like, it's like 11, so I got up, you know, I'm trying out this um, new mineral multivitamin drink that I take in the mornings. And before I go out and find a place to live in the forest, I wanted to stop at the Amish store. If you guys have been following me for a while, then you know that where I'm around here, I'm around a lot of Amish people and um, in the country. And my favorite thing about that is that there's dented can stores which uh, sell like expired foods and at a really cheap cost. So I save so much money when I'm here, which I'm saving money right now to go international, do van life international. So we're gonna do that first. And then I'm going to, for the first time ever, I'm gonna find free dispersed camping, probably in New York. We're gonna go to New York today. <laughs> And uh, I've never done this in this area, so I don't know what I'm gonna find. Hopefully it works out. Hopefully I'll have somewhere to sleep today. But let's get some brush first. Whip. All right, so I'm at the on the store, the dental can store right now. I'm gonna go get some some stuff for our trip. All right, so we're in here. And let's see what looks like. We're gonna do a quick little haul. And this is everything I got. I got a bunch of these, which I bought one of these in somewhere in the West for like three or four dollars for one 50 cents. Lion's Mane, and then they have some caffeine in them. And then I just have like, this is a healthy energy Aspire drink, sparkling water peach. So I have a bunch of these drinks, which are all like 50 cents. I got some snacks for today's trip. Sour raisin snacks for 75 cents. The raisins, but they taste like candy. Nutter and jelly. Not bad. I got one of these for my meal tonight. I only wanted one. 25 cents for the whole box of fortune cookies. Peanut butter, but it has egg whites and coconut oil. I got some monk fruit sweetener. Some Tivana tea. It's peach. Probably the same price in the store, I don't know, but I needed razors. Tonight, our dish is going to be mushroom risotto. We get a huge thing of hand sanitizer. This is 50 cents. I got this vitamin C serum. It was 350, but I needed a new vitamin C serum, so it worked out. Now let's get into this video. We have to get over to New York now. Before we get into anything, I want to say this video is sponsored by 70 Mai, and I'm extremely excited to be working with them because this is a 4K dash cam. So I'm going to show you the footage that I get on this dash cam, go through the specs and stuff with you. I have the front that I put on, I installed the other day, and then the back. And the installation was really easy. So this is the 4K A810 dash cam. I have the front one that records in 4K and then I have the back one just that records in HDR. So this is like the highest quality dash cam that like usually dash cams don't record in 4K. So this one, I'm all about 4K. It has a Sony Starvis 2 IMX 678 sensor, which basically means that it's really good quality. It can capture things at night, it can capture details of things, it has a wide dynamic range and it also doesn't have a lot of um, grain. It also has My Color Vivid Plus which just means that the color balance and everything is more accurate. It continuously records, I have the front and back recording so if anything were to happen it, I would have it on recording. So I'm gonna quit talking about it and I'm gonna let, I'm gonna show you the footage that I get from it but for now we, I'm trying to head to a dispersed camping site, a free dispersed camping site and I don't know if it's real or not, I don't know if it exists but that's where we're going right now in New York. I haven't checked the oil for a while since I changed it, so. She actually hasn't been leaking oil much anymore. I wonder if, I wonder if it's just I don't notice it or because we changed the oil filter to a bigger 
filter. It really hasn't been leaking that much oil, which is nice. I wasn't sure. I haven't, like I said, I've never tried to find free camping around these parts and it is a little different than it is in the West. In the West, there's so much land where you can find very uh, remote places. Like I could, there's like park rangers and stuff everywhere and um, just smaller area. So I feel like a little bit more, less free, but this, it's camping. The bugs, I forgot about that. I already got bit by one and I usually don't. Fortunately, I think I have some bug spray, so let's check. This is a really nice area, but it's Chautauqua uh, National Forest in New York. Why do they always get you on the ankle? Okay, so I got this, um, I think in Nevada at a natural food store and it's lemon you could put this oil insect repellent. I don't know if it'll work, but we are going to put it on our ankles and everywhere. Also, they have porta potties here. So this is like luxury for me. My mom sent me, she has like tons and tons of cucumbers from her garden. So these are the real deal type of cucumbers. <clears throat> so much better than sour cucumbers. I'm not much of a hiker, but these woods are so serene. It's very nice out here. I want to tell you guys what I'm doing after this. I'm going somewhere else. There's something that makes me incredibly uncomfortable. That's the thought of driving in a different country. I'm already kind of uncomfortable driving here in America in the cities and stuff, but driving in a different country I've never done before. It's just something that I feel like, oh, I can't do that. I booked a flight to do just that. This is a huge challenge for me that I want to overcome to kind of gain more confidence. And I feel like this will open a door to so many more things. I don't have to just stay in America to do driving. I mean, maybe I've just, making it harder than it is in my head. So I wanna give one really good recommendation for you guys for footwear. These are water shoes, kind of, like barefoot shoes. And I didn't wanna get ones that look like barefoot shoes because barefoot shoes are ugly. They're wide and you, you can't walk in water with them and stuff, but they're very versatile. They just feel so much more natural, but you're still protected from the ground. So highly recommend, I got them on Amazon for like 30 bucks. I'm telling you, these cucumbers taste so different than the ones in the store. Leave a comment if you've had like homegrown cucumbers versus the ones in the store. I wanted to open my fortune cookie. I only brought one. So this is the fortune. I haven't opened any other ones. I keep, my tattoo is still healing and I keep scraping it and bumping it. Oh, I should have brought lotion for it. I think I did actually. Do a little ASMR. actually very true okay you won't be bored for long new adventures are on the way whenever i stay in one spot too long especially if it's home i get a little bored i hate bored. doing this for the sake of asmr <laughs> i added my sleeping bag underneath the bed to make it more comfortable in this huge comforter that i got a couple weeks ago on top it's so comfortable so hopefully i'll sleep better with this So I got these off my wish list. And they let the breeze in, but they keep the bugs out. So I'm gonna put one on each of these windows and have the windows completely down so I can have a breeze coming in through here. Also, I brought a couple other things just to keep cool. I brought this fan, which I can hook up to my battery. I got this nice mister spray bottle. It was like nine, eight or nine dollars on Amazon. And it's such a nice gentle mist. I can spray that on me, have my fan. I think I'll survive the night. I like this. And whenever I do go in this next country, which I'll, I'll reveal in the next video of what country it is. I rented a van, but it's a camper van. So it's converted van. So we're doing van life, solo, alone. We're gonna have cucumbers and 
mushroom risotto. What else do we have? Uh, da -da -da. I actually didn't bring much food. I kind of forgot. <laughs> the stove has been great. I got it off of Amazon. Um, I don't remember how much it was. Probably, it was like probably $40. Uh -huh. Separate this and then add some water. Doesn't look that appetizing. <laughs> I don't really want all of it. Who am I kidding? I'll eat all that. And then seven tablespoons of water. One, two, seven. Three. Estimated. I love rice. I'll never not like rice. Like you just give me rice plain with nothing on it and I'll think it's the most delicious thing in the world. I have a short in my lights up here. I'm gonna spray some more bug spray. This is like on my blankets. They don't bother me anymore. Sometimes I just get like, I don't realize that like if I, my makeup is bothering me or I'm overheated or I'm tired. I just think that the world is any, I'm like, oh, everything's so terrible. So they like wash my face and I'm like, wow, I feel so much better. These nuts are really nice. It feels like open and airy in here, but closed too. I had to close it because all the mosquitoes were flying in. The sun's gonna set soon. Guy back there just complimented my Jeep. Jurassic Jeep. This one's definitely not as wild as I'm used to. The road's all easy to drive on. <laughs> That's a society which condones capital punishment will always have a problem with murder. Are you guys going to move your truck so I can at least leave? Are you going to move your truck so I can leave? Huh? Well, it's kind of weird that I was paying. Well, I am. Well, now I have to like leave because there's no way I can sleep like this. Can you at least ask, like, or say excuse me or something? Like, I was camped here. I understand. We closed it. We didn't know there was anybody in there. Right, but can, but can you like say like, yeah, but it's just common courtesy to say sorry. I didn't realize is it okay if we camp here? But it's like, this is the spot that I got. It's just strange. It's rude. I hate driving at night, ex like especially when I'm this tired because it's like nearly three in the morning. It was just a weird situation. I didn't know what to do. Like, what do you do? Infiltrating. Yeah, they're, they're, it's so loud too. I was like, gonna drive to a rest stop. I didn't want to make a, I didn't want to make a big deal because there was kids. It's so rude. Like they're so rude and they're just like not looking at me, acting like it wasn't even there, and I was standing there, but like, hey, can you at least? say excuse me or can you say sorry or can you at least ask me for the campsite even though like that's rude in itself like it's two in the morning the camping culture in the west versus the east is so much different
want to put the in the bag. This video is a mess. This video is a mess. I, I, so, I don't want to finish it. <laughs> Vitamin C serum from the Amish store. I always take care of each tattoo kind of differently. I use different products and just try to see which ones I like the best. This tattoo has healed the best out of most of my tattoos and I think it was because the tattoo artist was such like good energy. As I'm using this stuff, blue lizard, and it's nice because it's coral reef safe, and also the bottle turns blue whenever it senses um, UV rays. I don't know why it's kind of blue right now, but it turns like a brighter blue whenever it's in UV rays, and it reminds you to put some bug on it. you far away deep into the country where we can be alone I want to give you all the space so you can write a new set of songs this land cannot live without this video here it was strange it was strange but those things those things happen especially if you do things a lot weird things are bound to happen and that's okay it just means that you're living life sometimes it's good for weird things to happen because it's like okay it's time to move on to the next adventure and it is time to move on to the next adventure so stay tuned stick to terrestrial i'll see you in the next video bye I want you